Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of August 6, 2020. Well, breaking news is that Donald Trump has ordered the stimulus talks to cease. Yeah, that's right. He does not want the stimulus talks to resume until after he is elected president. Some people are saying Trump did this as a negotiation tactic. And what there's why they're saying that is because they believe that, you know, the you have so much on on the table, right? And the other party doesn't want to agree to any of it, so you take it all away as a way of to as a pressure tactic basically to pressure them into accepting one of the deals on the table. Well, I do gotta say this though. I mean, I, I will advise all my advisors on all my viewers on my page. I am sorry about this. To please budget accordingly, because it may be a while before we receive a stimulus check from the government. And if Trump has his way, it won't happen until after election, if he wins the election. That is. Trump tweeted that Pelosi went once two point four trillion dollars to bail out poorly run high crime democratic state money that is in no way related to COVID-19 and he said we made an offer of 1.6 trillion and as usual she isn't negotiating I instructed my reps to stop negotiating until after the election when after I win we will pass a massive stimulus bill so basically, he's going to let the people starve and die until after he wins the election. And then he's going to pass a big stimulus bill, which will do exactly what? There'll be people out there starving and dying or, he's, or should I say already dead because he's playing this stupid little tactic. And I hope that's all it is, is just a tactic. And he actually gets off his ass and says, realize that, hey, you know what? This is not smart. The people need the help. And by you doing this, you are basically going to be pissing off a lot of people, including your own Republican part, uh, followers that actually are in your Republican cities that also need the help as well. I happen to be in a Republican city, but I don't vote for Trump because he's a chump. And in this city, we've had wildfires, we've had homeless, we have people going hungry. And so how is it a bailout for Democratic cities and states when I'm in a, fr a freaking Republican state? And that money would be going to a Republican state as well. It'd be going to the whole United States, not just the Democratic ones. And President Trump doesn't see that, and he's being stupid. He has also downplayed COVID, too, a lot. So, I mean, this should affect his followers as well. <sighs> we had a stalemate with uh, stimulus because the Democrats want $2.2 trillion and the Republicans only want to spend $1.62 trillion. President Trump, President Trump joined in on a call with Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, and Senate Lead Mitch McConnell and told them to stop stimulus negotiations until after November 3rd. These, so basically, we're now just going to be hitting some hard times and President Trump doesn't care about the people he's going to kill. So hopefully, President Trump gets arrested or his Secret Service actually does their job and eliminates the threat to this country, which is known as Donald Trump. And how they eliminate that threat is they basically put a bullet in him. So hopefully the Secret Service does their job and actually eliminates the threat to this country. Nancy Pelosi said that, the president, that president Trump finally showed his true colors, putting himself first at the expense of the country. Walking away from the stimulus talks, Democrats uh, demonstrates that Trump isn't willing to crush the virus as required by the HEROES Act. And that he refuses to help those in dire need of it. Pelosi also said that the American people are worth the full $2.2 trillion dollars. That's why she's saying she's holding out for $2.2 trillion is because we're worth it. Whereas President Trump doesn't think we're worth it. And apparently neither does the Republicans because they're offered on the table. I mean, I grant you the, the March of Common Grounds Act is actually a good act. 
I mean, I do like the fact that it actually has a third stimulus check in it. It has a second stimulus check in it. It has more paycheck protection money, plus the booster also gives more paycheck protection money. It also gives a booster to unemployment. It also has regular unemployment in it as well. And yeah, it may only be 450 bucks a week, but you know what? 450 bucks a week is better than what most people have at this present time, which is nothing. And the Republicans, they have a good, they do have a good offer. And the 1.62 trillion, which actually I don't even know what the name of that that act is called yet. I mean, but it has a second stimulus check, and it also has a booster. To, it also has basically extended unemployment. It has more PPP money as well as other stuff in it as well. And then we have the Heroes Act too, which basically has a stimulus check, more paycheck protection money, more unemployment, but at six hundred dollars a week until the end of January 2021, whereas the Republicans' counter offer for unemployment expires on December 31st, 2020. I don't know what to say about this, people. Our president is out of his freaking mind. He's trying to kill the people by not providing them with the needed help that they need at this present time because we need it. I mean, this COVID-19 has basically hit the whole world. And because of what President Trump is doing, this country has become a laughing stock. Every country is laughing at us at how our country does not take care of its people, but yet their countries do. And that's the truth. In my earlier episodes, I, I did disclose how many how many countries were actually giving stimulus to their people and exactly how much. I mean, some were given like 80% off uh, dining out uh, bills so they could go to like a restaurant and get say twenty dollars worth of food and pay actually eighty percent off that price tag to help them out with their budget. Others that others were given their from seventy five percent to ninety percent of their earned wages. And oh my gosh, Canada was given is given their people gave their people I believe six or twelve thousand dollars basically over a three to six month period. And yet our country only gives us one bridge payment of $1,200 to last from March to God knows when, right, this present time, with how bad our, our, our politicians are playing games. I mean, they're holding on to our money to start off with, because we're the one who pays the taxes. They don't. They have all these tax credits. So it's not their money that they're playing with. It's our money they're playing with. And they're not willing to give us our money that we pay into it to keep us alive so we can actually keep them in office. Well, at this present time, I say, you know what, Nancy Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, President Trump, get voted out because this country don't need three slackers and, and a loser. Because we all know Trump has always been out for number one in his first place. He only joined the presidency to get fame and try to sell out this country because he owes $400 million in back taxes. Yeah, he owns Trump golf courses and stuff like that, and most every chances are he tries to sell those to the Russians. Well, you know what? Don't no, you can't sell any part of our country, whether you have your name on it or not, to another country. That is not right. Even if it is to get you out of debt, if you put yourself in the debt, then you get yourself out of the debt without selling this country out or its people. And that's what Donald Trump is doing. He's selling all of us out. That's why he's told them to basically stop stimulus negotiations with the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. I don't know if they've actually listened to him or not, or are going to listen to him or not, but I know Donald Trump probably will not be signing any bills until after he gets elected, if he gets elected. And his actions are going to piss off a lot of Republicans, and uh, also is going to piss off a lot, of, a lot more people, basically, because we have probably over 200 million people in dire need of help and with his current actions, he's going to make every one of those over 20 million people pissed off and they're not going to vote for him and he's not going to get back in office. And if he does, it's only because of electoral college and they're, and, they're, because, and they're a bunch of stupid idiots in the electoral college. But I'm not going to continue on rambling on about what Donald Trump has and hasn't done. But it's, it's, just, it's just a bad day in October. Uh, President Trump needs to get impeached before the end of the election, before November 3rd. This way he can't even rerun. If he gets fully impeached, that screws his chances to ever get back in the president, presidency. And as far as his candidate for the Supreme Court, 
she needs to be kicked off the idea as well. Mitch McConnell needs to be put under arrest, and so does his wife for theft from the people. So does Kanye West, we see the exact same thing. He stole paycheck protection money from the people. As well as other Congress, men and women who also stole the same money and think it's all nice. They all need to be arrested and all their money and all their assets needs to be sold and given to the people that they stole it from. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not actually end at this present time because I'm actually not in a really happy mood after knowing what Donald Trump is trying to pull. And I do value my viewer comments. So if you guys want to say anything about this, please feel welcome to. But until then, you guys have a magnificent Tuesday. And I will broadcast again to you tomorrow or as soon as I find out any more breaking news that actually will be very interesting to you guys. Until then, you guys have a great night.